following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has true... For over 50 years, the WWE Championship has stood as the premier championship in professional wrestling, and tonight we may see a new chapter in its storied history. Both champion and challenger are motivated by the biggest prize of them all. The man who lays claim to that title can call himself the very best competitor in this industry. Oh. Seated dropkick. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Boston Crab now. You can see hope for Balor begin to drain away. Finn Balor, nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. My goodness, did you hear that chop? And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Oh! The challenger eating up some damage. Big splash! Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn really having trouble with this defense. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Things went from bad to worse. Now look at this power. Look at this strength. Superhuman military press slam. With a high risk style like Finn Balor, the smartest thing to do is get the advantage of him and simply bide your time until an opening arises to make him crash and burn. Yes, timing is everything against a high-risk talent like Balor. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Uh-oh. Face first. Oof, man, what a hit. He turns it around. Close line. What impact. to the throat. Ooh. Good timing with that reversal. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Look at the torque. There's no escape from the camel clutch. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. There's no way he survives this. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Impressive display of power. Finn's at risk now, at risk of losing here. Kick to the gut. Lifted way up, round and around, and all the momentum into a spinning power bomb. The champ has this one in hand. And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, The Machine.
The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introduced. There's really no telling what this match might have in store for us. Just about the only thing you can count on is total pandemonium. Yeah, chaos is the name of the game here. These superstars are going to be living out their most unhinged and dangerous dreams in this one. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Up the electric chair, down for the drop. Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh-oh is right. Fall away slam! Oh, you guys are so cute. No way! Jarring impact. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Gonzalez was scouted there. Kendo stick impact. Boom. Oh, every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. You know what I love about an Extreme Rules match? It's a chance to think outside the box and inflict some truly inventive pain on your opponent. It's also a chance to be on the receiving end of that inventive pain. But you're right, Corey. Getting creative could be the best way to get ahead in this match. Oh. 
She turns it right around with a counter. Bang! Ooh, man! Kendo stick to the skull! Oh, man! These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. She's pulling out a table, adding some furniture into the mix here. Calf kick right on point. Ooh, sharp kick. Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. The challenger's looking shaken. Gonzalez getting worked on right now. Gonzalez needs to figure things out. She's getting something from under the ring. Taking things to another level, bringing out the ladder like this. That's just hard to watch. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. A steel chair. She's taking this match into even more dangerous territory. Oh, man. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. And it is getting downright nastier and nastier with each of these attacks. Uh, one step ahead of Gonzalez there. Oh. She now has gotten herself into a distressing spot. Looks like she's having problems creating any of her own offense. Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table. Oh, uh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Ow! Returning to the ring now. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Look at the velocity into the table. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. Yo, speed with the ladder. And now Gonzalez is under immense pressure. No doubt, a tough spot for Gonzalez. She's pushed into the corner. Gonzalez dies the attack. Gonzalez is gonna look to press on the advantage. Gonzalez. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. Just getting all twisted up. Ah, submission locked in, nowhere to go, nope. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Uh-oh, dicey situation here, guys. I do not like this at all. And another counter. Oh, she's in a bad spot here. That ladder is not her friend right now. What do you know about friends? That corner is getting crowded and dangerous. Whack! Ooh. Oh, God. Standing shooting star. And Zagiri finds its mark. Oh my god, the table's on fire! This is insane. You can't do this. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Oof, shit. This is a very powerful ball. Gonna see a new champ. Whoa! You gotta be kidding me. Everyone here is in shock. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Taking it outside the ring now. She goes under the ropes and back into the ring. Whoa. 
Nice counter from Gonzalez. Haymaker connects. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. This is not good. And Zagiri finds its mark. Sir, big top. Uh oh, this isn't going to end well for someone. Going up top. Sit for the ride through the table. Caught her with a kick, creating a little space. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Rib is going to try it again. Oh my God. Oh God! Another one bites the dust to the champ. Cover! One, two, three. That's it! The champ stays the champ! Here is your winner, and still the NXT Women's Champion, Storm Amber! That's the kind of win that can take their career to the next level. I'll hang my hat on the win of that caliber any day of the week. This is one to be proud of.
The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Introducing... You heard the bell ring. Match is underway. Falls count anywhere. There are no disqualifications. There are no count outs. The disdain these superstars share for one another is palpable. The vitriol is through the roof. We won't have to worry about a ring containing them because this one could end up anywhere. Drop kick. Well, this is weird. Certainly an unusual strategy. And it's the ref who takes a hit there. Things might be getting a little out of control. And then, boom! Besides the threat of a pinfall anywhere in the arena, what are the other things a superstar has to be aware of, Corey? Well, there are no disqualifications in a false Count Anywhere match, so that means anything your opponent finds can be used against you. You really want to maintain control of your opponent and limit what they can get their hands on. Oh, that can dislocate something. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, right to my gut. Right across the face. Alexa gets reversed. Delivered into the barricade. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Boom! Boom! Challenger's a little worse for wear now. She's absorbed some hits, but she knew this Falls Count Anywhere match would be tough. She flips it back on her! Ooh. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. And look at her, feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. Alexa can't yield any attack coming her way. Alexa's got to flip the switch soon. DDT! Oh, God! Nasty kick to the face. The challenger is not in a great place. Letting this match go a little longer than is strictly advisable might want to try making use of that stipulation. Into the STO! Oh, man! And this has turned into a brawl. Forget about any match. This is a street fight. Uh. Uh. And Tagiri finds its mark. Uh. Oh, it's a recipe for cracked ribs. Uh. Oh! Ooh. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Tilt a whirl. Into a small package. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. New champion. New champion. Oh, 
She's bringing the table into play here. She is done playing around. Oh, just whipped into the table. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. Blue, Bliss gets countered. <laughs> Big forearm. Hooked up. DDT. the table and what's she gonna do with this table set up a buffet what do you think she's gonna do Saxton look out this is gonna be bad oh no oh no oh my god And the champ retains. Heard you're bad-mouthing me in the locker room saying the camera angles I shoot you from are making you look weak. Really? It's not easy being a WWE cameraman. But I'm glad not all WWE superstars are so cruel to the crew. In fact, I've got a...
one of the best competitors in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the wasteland, Dudley Princess. This former indie star first appeared on WWE's ring. Oh boy, gentlemen, the goddess of WWE had... And this is a woman that has had a lot of talk around her. A lot of people wondering if the hype around her is warranted. Yeah, and this is now her opportunity to justify all that hype. An opportunity to show why she's been creating such a buzz. A win here could do just that. Perfect position. Uh-oh. Going for her. Looks like the Muna Lock. The bridge is in. Look at this, she releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Uh, driven down to the ground. Uh-oh, looking to lock it in. Oh my goodness, critical point of the matchup. It could be over right here. Can she hang on? Can she somehow hang on? And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. turns that around. Uh-oh. It's Zularia. Twists the arm and a... Uh-oh. She could be setting up for a submission here. And now latching on. Is Bliss gonna tap? Is Bliss gonna tap out? I think Bliss is starting to fade. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Oh, oh what an uppercut. Jarring. <laughs> nice takedown. A relentless attack being brought to Alexa. Listen. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. The arm bar is locked in. You can see the agony on her face. This is painful. Can she hang on? She might tap out. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Oh my god, a small package driver. Two. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Dudley Princess. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Don't you get bored of lame rules? You seem like someone who thinks outside the box, someone who can take on an opponent anywhere, which I I'm totally not saying to goad you into destroying a superstar in a false count. This woman is ready to fight.
Ah, oh, things are about to get good. Here comes the Empress of tomorrow, prepared to reign supreme. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! This is going to be some match. Remember, it's falls count anywhere. No count outs, no disqualifications. Yeah, this match is so dangerous because anything can happen literally anywhere. It is all about taking care of business. The only thing the referee can do is look for a pinfall or submission. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. And this one might be headed ringside. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. She's getting something from under the ring. Oh, with authority. Now oh, trampling the opposition. What are they going to do here? Leg snap. Oh, the torque on the knee. Oh, that didn't go as Asuka designed. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Oh, man. One wicked attack after another. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. Looks like she's opting to go with the old classic, a steel chair. Asuka's trying is being suppressed. Asuka certainly being tested here. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. A counter answered by another counter. Boom! You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. And Asuka moves. Elbow smash! Strong suplex. Line. Oh, Britt, rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. German suplex. Oh, God. Putting the shoulder in jeopardy there. Oh, well placed kick. Dodged right on cue. Fisherman suplex. That unraveled on Asuka. Oh! She's getting something from under the ring. Oh boy, kendo stick in hand, nefarious look in her eyes. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Caught with a clothesline. Things not going how she'd like. But you have to admit, at this point in a Falls Count Anywhere match, there's no way you didn't expect things to be going much, much worse for him, Cole. Nice takedown. And here we go. Asuka turns it around. Standing drop kick. Great up. Rare to see Asuka in distress like this. Oh, somebody's got to stop this. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. The steps connect. 
That hurt me just watching. Asuka's looking beaten down, guys. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. Oh, God. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, boy, come on. Not the chair. Asuka timed that one. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. The Asuka lock. Uh-oh. Trapped and nowhere to go. Except for maybe the emergency room or the locker room. This is going to... Oh, look at this. Oh, just breaks the grip, delivers an elbow, and just like that, she's back out of it. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. And that was a well-targeted attack. Oh, you're a pit uppercut. We don't often see Asuka in this position. This has to be a bit demoralizing for the Empress. Kendo stick impact. Bam. Oh, ouch. Man, each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. It up. Kendo stick to the skull. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Uh-oh, there it is. We could see a tap out. It's locked in. Her opponent trying to hang on, but the Empress will tear your shoulder apart. No is, one gets out of this. Is there any way out? Can oh. they do anything to break the hole that they do? Suplex! to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, my God. Standing drop kick. Great ups. to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Counter from Asuka. Oh, late Lariat. More setting it up. Savage knee to the face. Oscar's got a problem here. The cover. And that'll be it. Finally, a victory. What a hard fought win. Here is your winner, Dudley Princess. And a very strong performance.
Welcome back to SmackDown as our women's champion sits down for what should be a very interesting a moment of bliss. Once again, I'd really like to thank you for coming out here tonight. It's my pleasure. Actually, it's your pleasure. But I'm willing to sit here for a few minutes and boost your ratings. You're welcome. Thanks. Anyway, I'm glad you're here because it gives us a chance to bury the hatchet, move forward, and... for me to tell you exactly what I think of you. You are nothing but a two-faced, deceitful brat. From day one, you've come in here into my house and acted like you own the place. Like you're entitled to some special treatment, but you're not. And if anyone is, I am, because I've put my body on the line countless times and earned anything that comes my way. In fact, I've been here long before you strolled in and I'll be here long after you crawl your way out. And there's the ambush I was waiting for. No ambush, just telling the truth. Then let me hit you with some truth. Your claim to fame is you've been here a while, which I guess sort of makes you an antique. Sounds about right, considering you're so fragile. And by the way, I'm the only reason anyone's watching this. So I think your few minutes are up. That's fine. People don't want to see you. Not on TV, not backstage, not in the ring, and certainly not holding that title. But you won't be holding it for long. Because the real reason I asked you on my show is to say this. I want, no, I demand, for the sake of the entire WWE Universe, a shot at your SmackDown Women's Championship so I can take it from you and return it to someone who's not an embarrassment to this sport. This interview? is over. Well, that went about as well as expected. Wade from behind. The SmackDown Women's Champion just took out Alexa Bliss. And it's not over. Into the moment of Bliss set. <laughs> you were right about one thing. That was a moment of Bliss. <laughs> Whether the SmackDown Women's Champion likes it or not, it looks like she's on a collision course with Alexa Bliss. I think they already collided and Alexa lost. We'll have to see, but it certainly doesn't look good for Alexa.